Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel which is all about beauty. Now today I'm doing a really easy matte eyeshadow tutorial for you. It's so easy and I've added a little pop of colour just to make it a bit more fun. Now if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. You can also catch me on Instagram where you can watch my stories for daily beauty news and also some PR unboxing. Now let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so as you can see, I have nothing on my eyes and I'm all set for this easy matte eyeshadow look. And I wanted to use something different because I usually kind of lean more towards kind of earthy tones and browns. So I thought, let's do something different today and we'll use something a little bit more, more brighter. So I'm using like a nice minty shade and we're gonna see how this ends up looking. So I'm using the Huda Beauty Wild Python palette and I'm using that little mint shade there which is nice and matte. And I'm also using my Fenty Beauty 220 Precision Brush. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is apply this eyeshadow. I've coated my brush with it, and I'm gonna apply it just to the inner corner of my eye, so on my eyelid. So I'm not going right on the inner corner here. I'm going on the inner corner of the upper lid. So I'm gonna apply a very, very small amount here. You see, it's really, really small, that amount that I've applied there. And now what I'm gonna do is just clean off this brush on a tissue so that it doesn't have much of the product on. And then I'm gonna just drag this color. So I'm just dragging the color so that it fades out, so it doesn't look so kind of blocky. So can you see, we're just dragging it, just dragging it here so that it fades out, so that it doesn't look like it's just completely cut off. And that's why you've got to clean your brush first so that you're not adding more color. So all you're doing is just dragging. Now, what I'm also gonna do is just go into the other side so you can see you don't want it to also look too harsh here. And I'm just basically going back and forth to soften the edges. There you go. That's fine. Now I'm gonna go over to the other eye and do that one very quickly. Okay, now you can see we've got it on both inner corners there. So now what I'm gonna do is apply a very, very small amount just on the outer corner of the upper lid now. So this is where I'm just gonna apply it a very, very small amount because I'm gonna start spreading this out afterwards. So I'm not gonna blend that yet. I'm gonna apply it here as well. Can you see what I've done is I've basically created the same shape but flipped it. Now I'm blending, and when I say blending, I'm just trying to diffuse the edges. So I've taken the excess off the brush, and I'm just trying to make sure that the edges don't look so harsh. So you can still see that there's color there, but it doesn't look so harsh. Now what I'm gonna do is do the same thing but the under on the lower lash line. So I've just got a little bit of the product but now what I'm doing is going very close to the lashes. Like I don't want it to be so thick underneath. So just a little bit here and I'm going into the lash line. And then same here. Okay, so can you see what I mean how easy this is? So what we've done is we've got that color here and then we've got it here and then we've got it here and here and all I've done is I've kind of like put a bulk amount of it there and then I've just blended the edges so that the edges look diffused and soft. So all I've done is taken the excess off of the brush, wiped it on a, on a tissue and then got back in and started dragging that color on the outside so that it looks like it's just blended a little bit. So that's what, we, what we've done there. Now what I'm gonna do is go in with a black shade and I'm gonna use the Wild Jaguar palette from Huda Beauty and there's a really nice black shade in there. I'm gonna use a really small brush for this. I'm using the, which brush is this? This is the Sigma Winged Liner E06 brush and it's really fine and I'm gonna apply this super close to my lash line all the way across. So I'm literally trying to almost like tight line and then I'm gonna just smudge it all out. So, so close. I don't want it to look like eyeliner. I want it to look almost kind of like slightly mm, just buffed out. I'm gonna show you. I'm just taking it to the end of the lash line. Don't go any further yet because we want it to like lift up a little bit. 
Okay, can you see we've done a rough line there? Now I'm gonna go in with another brush. I'm just trying to pick my brush. Which brush shall I go in with? Okay, I'll go in with my Pro Shader from Sephora number 18. Nothing on this brush. And now I'm gonna go back, back and forth. So I'm kind of like going back and forth to really kind of like smudge this black. So not up and down, but back and forth. I want it to look m not messy, but you know, like that kind of slight, I don't know what word I'm trying to look for. <laughs> We're gonna do the same thing on the other eye. As you can see, you don't need to be super, super like tidy with this because you're gonna buff it. It's just a really easy look to do. Okay, so you, can you see that's given it so much definition? I love that. Okay, now we're gonna go back in with that Sigma brush and I'm gonna do the same into my lower lashes, but not not as much, just a little bit less. So I'm gonna go right into the in between each lash. And then I'm gonna now go back and forth. And now I'm just dragging up whatever is left there. Okay, same thing on this side. So I'm just buffing it back and forth. So it looks kind of messy, but nice messy. So now what I'm doing is I'm just gonna drag this black slightly upwards. And I'm using my Sephora brush for this. So you can see how I'm just very slightly dragging this up. There you go. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my Ben Eye Bad Girl waterproof eyeliner pencil and I'm just applying this kind of on my waterline. Just at the bottom just to kind of make sure that my waterline and where I've applied that black in between my lashes doesn't look disconnected. So now I'm just gonna curl my lashes and I don't actually think that this look requires false lashes. So I'm gonna use my Hourglass Unlocked Mascara and I'm just gonna start brushing this through my lashes. You can put lashes on with this look if you want, but honestly, I think that with all the black around the eye, I don't think you need lashes. And sometimes the wrong kind of lash can end up, or too much of a long lash, can end up just kind of distorting the look you were going for. So you can still see that we've got that really nice pop of color coming through without it covering the entire lid. I feel like a lot of people get confused when there's so much eyeshadow going on around the main lid area or the crease. And I really wanted to show you that you it, it's really easy and that you don't have to worry about the whole crease area. Just play around with this small area here. Honestly, we used two colors, that was it, two colors. And you can even just break this up and just use the one color if you want to. Like you can skip the kind of pop of color that I did and just go straight in with that black. But either way, it's a really, really easy matte eyeshadow look and I hope you've enjoyed it. So I really do hope you've enjoyed this easy matte eyeshadow tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments box below and I'll always answer. Don't forget that the products are also listed in the description box below. So all you need to do is click on the links if you wanna buy any of them. Now, as always, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.